daily help, advice, anecdotes from my career either side of the mic. I've trained at the prestigious Central School of Speech and Drama in London and with the BBC and then trained other people within the BBC about voice and presentation styles. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart. Uh, on Twitter, I'm Tweeter Stewart, T-W-E-T-E-R-S-T-E-W-A-R-T. Welcome to today's episode of Get A Better Broadcast, podcast and voice over voice. Yesterday, part one of Your Voice in Winter, because it may be winter where you are right now, as soon as this episode is published, or it may be that you're listening to it after the fact, some months later, and uh, you may be about to go into winter uh, where you are then. So we had uh, tips one, two and three yesterday. If you missed those, I encourage you to go back and listen to that episode. Here are episodes or top tips four and five for your voice in winter and looking after it. Number four. Yeah, we're saying that winter may coincide with where you are with the holiday season for Christmas, New Year. So be careful of rich food and reflux. Party and holiday food can be rich and creamy. Yeah, think chocolates. I often think chocolates, to be fair. Uh, fried or spicy finger food, carbonated soft or alcoholic drinks, all of that. Ooh, kind of messing around with your stomach, leading to potential gastric or reflux issues. And uh, we've looked at all of those elsewhere. Episode 755, if that tickles your fancy. So be careful how much you eat and when you eat it. And not too much and not too late either is usual advice. Episode 755. Have a range of food, sure, but balance the chocolate orange with an actual orange. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, keep hydrated and not just with alcohol. Hot drinks will keep you warm and cosy too. Don't forget those. And also, don't forget party warm-ups. Usually more social gatherings in the holiday season if the winter coincides with Christmas New Year. And that can mean lots of people crammed inside with the possibility of germ sharing. Yeah, and trying to talk over the hubbub and loud music. Throw in some raucous carols or karaoke, as well as the rich food I mentioned a moment ago, and you've got a, a party Petri dish, haven't you? Of problems for your voice. <laughs> a party Petri dish. <laughs> How does he come up with them? Why does he come up with them? Uh, before you go to the party, warm up your voice with the exercise we've looked at before. So uh, on arrival, be careful about immediately shouting greetings across a room. Ease your voice into anything with volume. Keep your voice lubricated during the event. Remember, food and water doesn't touch your vocal folds directly. Be careful on the alcohol. Find a quieter corner if you can, so you can talk a little bit more softly uh, with, uh, with 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 somebody else. Um, and and you, you know, it's a holiday season. You may be getting really close to them and whispering sweet nothings in their ear. I don't know. Just saying, uh, 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 perhaps a little bit niche, but also consider what else you're breathing in during this time. Chemicals from someone's vape being spritzed with perfume in the department store as you go. Christmas shopping, fake smells of pumpkin spice in a coffee shop's air conditioning unit, the manufactured Christmas pine scent in the bathroom, atmospheric dry ice and smoke machines at showbiz events. All of these things and more can be vocal fold irritants. So beware of those. We've got some more top tips of your voice in winter tomorrow and the day after that. Join me, won't you, as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>